Okay, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about residual energy and um, paranormal events, how very different that they are. Um, this is just from my, uh, what, what I've encountered. This, I'm not saying this is a science or this is the way it is. It's just what I've noticed uh, over the last couple of years in dealing with this. Um, residual energy is an event in time that plays itself out over and over and over again for whatever reason it's caught in an energy bubble and that energy bubble acts as a battery and it feeds that event and it will continue um, to happen until that energy runs out until the battery dies so to speak um, now what makes them so different is I could be the source of things going on around here uh, if it's in a, res a residual event. It could have been me and just not known it. Uh, the first thing that I noticed in this house before my house just blew up with activity was footsteps were coming up the hallway to the bathroom that I was in and then they just stopped. Now for all I know, when I walked up that hall to go into that bathroom, could have been caught in that loop. And the event was just playing itself out over and over and over again. Because I came out of this dining room, went up the hall, and went into the bathroom. And that's where these footprint, uh, these footprints, these footsteps go to and from. They go from this dining room, out into the hallway, and up the hallway, and then they stop. So they could have been me that did that. Um, and I just don't know it. But that's what got to my attention that something was going on. And that's what, what made me start looking at it a lot harder. Now, the thing that's going to differ from paranormal and residual is it, uh, a paranormal event you're going to be able to interact with. You're going to be able to ask questions. They're going to be able to answer those questions. You're going to have conversations back and forth. That is not a residual event. Residual events you, you can't interact with. It's what, what's happening is, go, is what's going to happen, and it's going to happen regardless of your actions. Um, and it's going to run out when it's time for it to run out. Uh, so the, the first day that um, West Tennessee Paranormal was here, it's the very first investigation on my house by a professional group. We set, they set up their equipment in my house, and we weren't allowed to go into the house. We had to stay outside the house and just let them record what they were going to record. And we were in a tent uh, out back, like an awning that they had set up. And uh, we were sitting out there, and we heard uh, Native American war cries, uh, war drums, musket fire, uh, and war cries. Um, so that was residual. That was an event that took place a long time ago in between settlers and the Native Americans that were on this land. And it was an event that got caught up, and it was probably such a significant event that it had just a ton of energy. And that energy is still around today. And we were listening to it play out over and over and over again. And it will continue to do so until that energy runs out and then it will disappear. Um, so that's kind of the way you can tell the difference. Now, if you start investigating your house and you're hearing this stuff and you're responding to it and it's responding to you in kind, then you know it's not residual. Um, that's something else. That's paranormal. That's uh, designed to get your attention to convey a message to you for whatever reason. Um, they are, they want to warn you. Uh, they need help. Most of the ones I get are, are saying, help, help me, help us. Um, I've had an Irish guy around here that has said, let me out. Um, and I, I've gotten a couple of messages to that effect where they're stuck and they, they can't get out of here and they want to, but they don't know how. Um, so in that case, they're going to start talking to you. They're going to start answering your questions. Um, and you're, if you want to help them, then you'll be able to help them because you'll get uh, information along the way that will uh, tell you what you need to do to help them. Um, but if it's just a certain noise or a pattern of noises that seem to happen over and over and over again on a regular basis and they don't ever change, uh, and you can't interact with it, and there's nothing you can do to alter it, then you're dealing with with, uh, <laughs> with residual energy and not paranormal energy. That's my take on it anyway. I'll talk to you later.